What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection video. It's been a while since we've had a collection and this one was a $10,000 collection. So it's gonna be pretty good. But before that, I have a couple announcements and an epic giveaway. So for this giveaway, I'm giving away three sets of the Egyptian God card decks. These were sent to me by Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. You can check them out in the link in the description. You can use code RUXIN34 for 5% off if you guys wanna buy on their site. All you have to do to enter the giveaway though is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about the collection. And you guys have a chance to win not just one, but both an obelisk and a slifer deck. So you get one of each. I have three sets, so they will be three different winners in this video. Also, in regards to giveaway winners, I just sent out the last round of giveaways, which was a while back. I know it's been a while. I'm going to announce the next one soon. And then after that, I'm going to try and keep up with it weekly because I've been getting behind. It's, it gets like to be a lot. If I wait for, for like two months or whatever, it's a big task to like actually do everything. So I'm going to try and do it weekly so that way I can stay caught up. You guys can know the winners like more reasonably and that way I can ship them out more easily because it's a smaller amount of people. And finally, our next box break, I have announced this and we have sold over half the pack so far, but we have a first edition Metal Raiders boot box we actually have two of these because these were sent in as a commission sale i've been doing a few of those on my website ruxin34.com so one of my friends sent me two of his boxes we broke one of them which is this one we've sold 13 packs there's 11 left so if you guys want to get in on this check it out they are pretty expensive that's why i kind of gave it a two-week notice we're not having one this week if we do sell out i will do this one this weekend so it'll be a little bit shorter than two weeks. First edition Metal Raiders, it's gonna be crazy when we actually do it. We could potentially pull the Gate Guardian, all that great stuff. So if you guys are interested, check out ruxin34.com. And finally, in regards to breaks, I won't be doing one on the YouTube channel this week because we're still selling the Metal Raiders box, but I will be doing a live stream on whatnot, selling some singles tonight. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, it's an auction platform. So if you guys go follow me, link in the description, just click it, follow me on whatnot. You just download the app. I'm gonna sell some singles like possibly some first edition cards, some near mint stuff. It's gonna be pretty cool. And then this weekend, we're gonna be doing an auction as well. So we might have two box breaks this weekend, one for Metal Raiders first edition and one for Legend of Blue Eyes Unlimited. It's gonna be pretty cool. So check me out there. Let's get into the collection opening. All right, so we have this box right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up. I, uh, the guy who sold me this, he held this for a long time for me. So I appreciate him doing that because it was pretty expensive and I had a lot of other things I had to get for like the channel and stuff. So it took me a while to pay him off. So I finally paid for this thing. So for that reason, I don't really remember what's in here. Like I remember a general idea but, you know, I don't remember every single card, so there's going to be some cool stuff in here. I'm cutting this a little awkwardly because I'm trying not to hit my mic or anything. It's a little bit of an odd angle. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, that, that's a loud noise. Okay, I did that all on camera just so I could pull it off camera. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It's weird, guys. All right, guys. After, like, five minutes of unpackaging this stuff, it was crazy. Like, so much tape, so many, like, bubble wrap and, like, these, like, different plastic containers. It was well-packed, but it just took a long time to get out. We have some cool stuff. I'm pretty sure I didn't buy these. I think he just sent these as extras, and these are awesome. So there's still some tape down there, but I'm not removing it. We've got some prismatic Japanese cards. Check out that CD. That's amazing. And the Barrel Dragon from V... What's VB5? Wait, what is this? Oh, Asian English. That's why I've never heard of it. I was like, uh, is this like something I've never heard of? Okay, that's extremely cool. We also have... We have... Oh, look at this. So we have the, another one of these. The Magi Magi Magician Girl, I think is what it's called. And then the uh, Anniversary Dark Magician, and this one's still sealed. That's insane. So both of those are, actually. That is so cool. Next, we have some stacks of cards. So um, this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler to what we got. So we have first edition Pharaoh's Servant cards. What this is, let's try and get a nice um, little view of these. This is a full first edition Pharaoh's Servant near mint set. So these are just the commons and the rares and stuff. These are all in like mini sleeves, which is really nice of him to like do that for the commons and rares too. Um, Gradius, so we got the Gu Guruchin Kuwagata. Kisatai. I mean, so you guys know what's in Pharaoh's Servant. Just think about some epic cards. Buster Blader. We're going to pull it from this collection. <laughs> Prohibition, that's an expensive one. Look at that centering. That's wild. Nobleman of an Extermination. I mean, just look at all these epic cards. Just good memories from all this stuff. Pharaoh's Servant, one of my favorite sets, of course. Morphine Jar number two, Wing Weaver. With the DNA Surgery, Mad Sword Beast. The Cold Way, that's an epic card. Just really, really cool stuff out of this Pharaoh's Servant set. So I just wanted to show you all the cards just in case, you know, you want to see some of the classic commons and rares before we get into the hollows. So 
I'm not gonna get into the hollows yet because they're mixed up with something else. I'm gonna show you what the next thing is. It's another complete set. Just take a second. Magician's Force, first edition, complete set. Check this out, guys. A complete first edition MFC set, yes. And the hollows are included. Now you're thinking, oh my goodness. Yeah, there's the magical scientist. Oh my goodness. Dark Magician Girl, Dark Paladin, Breaker the Magical Warrior. Yes, all that stuff. We're about to see it. So I'm just going to go through, show you guys some cool comments. You don't see MFC comments too often because it's just not open very much anymore. So let's just en enjoy the stuff, the ante, before we get on to the, uh, the epicness. Wave Motion Cannon. That's an expensive comment. Uh, they did reprint it and stuff, so it went down. It was like 15 bucks at one point. It might be even be that still. The the Pineapple Blast. I mean, you gotta love that. It's classic. The Neko Main King. I think it's a pretty decent card. Giant Orc. That's classic. Helping River for Combat. Dimension Jar. I mean, there's one of the jars that you never think of. Dimension Jar. I mean, how often do you think of that card? Death Koala. We got the United Resistance. Okay, there's all the comments, the not as exciting part. Now let's get into the foil. So this is a big stack of card savers. So I'm not going to sp completely spoil it. We're going to go through them a couple at a time. Like, take up a mini stack. Oh, first we have the legendary Thousand Eyes Restrict. And these are all like near mint. Some are mint. So this is really cool. Thousand Eyes Restrict, first edition. Let's enjoy that. Magical hats. You see what's coming up, guys. First edition Genzo. And it's a little bit faded as well. You guys see that? It is not quite as saturated as usual, which you don't see a lot of Jinzos that are like faded. So it's pretty cool. Beast of Tower, that's cool. Legendary Fisherman, that one's a little faded as well. Goblin Attack Force, that one's a little faded. If you guys are wondering what faded is, it's just when the, like the magenta color, I guess, is what they say. I can't remember exactly what the story is. But basically, it looks a little bit faded. And it's not sun fading, because if you sun fade the whole card... All the colors fade, but only a specific one of the colors fades in like the legitimate printed faded cards. They were not intentional that I know of. Nobody knows for sure, but they're probably not intentional. There's an Imperial Order, the other secret room. We've got a Chain Destruction. I pulled this in my very first box of Pharaoh Servant, so that was an interesting one. Premature Burial, check that out. Very horrible centering, hilarious. Okay, we're still going through Pharaoh's Servant. We got a little bit, a little bit of fade on this set, which is really cool. The Grave Robber, there he is. The Buster Blader, the that is horrible centering, but still really cool. The Buster Blader, we can never pull this guy. One day we will. I'm just saying, one day we will. Parasite, Parasite, that's a cool one. Fairy Meteor Crush, Nobleman of Crossout, the Fiend Mega Cyber. I mean, these are all these are all first editions. So cool, and the Mirror Wall. Gotta love this one. Just beautiful artwork on that one. It's very simple, but very nice. Okay, let's uh, let's finish out Pharaoh's Servant. So left we have Backup Soldier. Cool. Call of the Haunted. Call of the Haunted, as Bones would say. And the Ceasefire. Check that out. We're getting into the big stuff, guys. So there's Pharaoh's Servant. That's some pretty epic hollows right there. Now we have a full set of Magician's Force. So first edition Dark Paladin. Or pff, Paladin of White Dragon. What am I talking about? X XZ Dragon Cannon. To be, to be seen, the Dark Paladin. Skilled White Magician. That's actually pretty, pretty centered. Um, Magician's Force has those issues, you guys know. We opened the box. You guys can check that video out, but like off-centered, back scuffing, stuff like that. So a centered skill, skill white magician is nice. Uh, spell Shield, we got the Y Dragon Head. Tribe Infecting Virus, that's a good one. I've pulled this out of both MFC boxes I've opened. One was Unlimited, one was First Dead. Skill Dark Magician, nice. Diffusion Wave Motion, First Edition. YZ Tank Dragon. XZ Tank Dragon. XYZ Dragon Cannon. X head cannon. Some good stuff in here, but we haven't got to the big boys yet. Or girls. So there's here's one of the girls. Amazon of Swordswoman. Chaos Command Magician is super cool. That's a really cool one. Amazon is Archers. The Z Metal Tank. Double spell. Spell Canceler. Look at that centering, guys. The top is absolutely tiny compared to that. That is massive. Luster Dragon. We got Breaker the Magical Warrior. This is a nice one. This is a really, really nice one, guys. First edition Breaker. Very, very expensive card. Oh! I forgot this was in here. <laughs> Injection Fairy Lily. Faded. Okay, we got we gotta take a second. Check this one out. Faded Injection Fairy. I totally forgot. See, I told you guys I can't remember what I bought. It's been a long time, so thanks again for holding them, man. Check this out, and it is in pretty nice shape. Really nice shape, actually. That is crazy good. 
And uh, speaking of Injection Fairy Lily, Lily, if you didn't see the video with Lee and Hart, check that one out. Insane. Best pulls I've ever had. Injection Fairy Lily faded. Then we have a first edition Gaia the Dragon Champion from Legend of Blue Eyes. That's pretty big. Red Eyes from SDJ. That's cool. Sinister Serpent SDD. Nice card. Valkyrian. That's actually really nice. I haven't had one of these in a while. And an Acid Trapple from DDS. Too bad it's not the Blue Eyes. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> and finally, and finally, we have two more cards, guys. We have the Legendary. Dark Paladin from Magician's Force. We actually have this one in PSA 10, but who cares? This is still epic. Even if it's not PSA 10, this is so cool. I don't know if it is or not. We'd have to get it out of the card saver, which we're not going to do right now. I'll inspect these on my own to see if we're going to grade any of them. Pretty awesome. And the final card, the one we've all been waiting for. The one that we opened a $15,000 box searching for this card and it was not found. We have the Dark Magician Girl First Edition Magician's Force. Yeah, I don't think it's like PSA 10 quality or anything, but I think it's pretty nice. So we're going to check it out because obviously it's the one and only Dark Magician Girl. The surface looks pretty clean. I think maybe at the top we got a little bit of a slight, um, like, not even quite a ding, but a little bit of something there, which I kind of knew about. The back has the classic MFC scuffing, but overall, this is a pretty, pretty nice card. Really, really nice card. Okay, we'll sleeve this up. The final card, the Dark Magician Girl. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Epic collection purchase. I love sharing these with you guys. If I get any more crazy collections, I will share them in video. Make sure to check out uh, the whatnot link so you guys can be at the auction tonight. Maybe some of these will be on the auction. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to look tonight, like which is the day before. I'm going to see what I'm going to auction. You guys can potentially get it there like live, which is really cool. Also, Metal Raiders, check that out if you guys want to be in that. That's going to be an insane break. I'm super excited for it. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Dark Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!